Uh, lastly, I would like to introduce Kalpana Singh Chitnis to read her poems in the Oxygen Anthology, and also to read the title poem that inspired the title of this book. Thank you, Nirvan. Um, let me uh, begin with the first poem. Uh, the title of this poem is The Poet is Gone. The poet is gone, the poet is gone, leaving a chest behind. In the chest, there are a thousand letters to a dictator, hundreds to his followers, and one to himself about his dream of becoming a singer and someday living on farmland. His being as a poet was accidental. The burden of earning bread and butter had dragged him to the city from his mountain abode. From the capital's streets to the bulletin room, he covered every piece of news and more. He was worried about pollution and the virus that could kill the masses of nations in droves. In his worries, he forgot all about his dreams. And as he sipped his last drink, and made one last ring of smoke sitting at his writing table, he realized it was too late. His organs gave up, his lungs collapsed. Tied in a hospital bed all alone, he wanted to sing but couldn't. He tried to write a note but failed. The poems he wrote were timbers from the mountains. Fired up with his spirit, the flame he ignited lit many candles and consumed his dreams. The poet is gone, the poet is gone, leaving a legend behind. The second poem is At the Sound of Suzumi. Behind the masks are eyebrows, cheekbones, and jawlines. The faces have disappeared. The one who has stolen all faces have no face. Or maybe it does. 6.25 million and counting. Stretched up to the horizon in the arena, it appears on the stage like a kabuki performer and disappears with a generation stuffed in kimono. It is the dance of the century. The sky is a drum beating all night. We sleep on the mask of the moon and dance alone and together we learn the steps unlearned at the curious sounds of Suzumi. We rise breathing deeply and breathless we fall. And uh, the last poem is uh, the title poem of this book called O Captain, after Walt Whitman. You cannot blame it all on June gloom. Sitting in your living room, surfing channels, watching plague, politics, and war. I turn the TV off and read Whitman. Oh, captain, my captain, oh, the bleeding drops of red. I can't wait for the sun to arrive in the Eastern hemisphere. The night sails like a mammoth ship in dark rivers, scooping the dead. My father, mother, sister, and brother are ailing. Friends have left too soon. Hark, I hear the faint moaning of the city's shackle from afar. The buildings hang from the sky lifeless, their tongues out the windows. The doors are locked, but the oxygen has escaped. There aren't enough shouts and wood left in the market. Like doctors, nurses, and essential staff, the forests working around the clock are making oxygen, coffins, and kindles for cremation. The animals on the graves appear orphaned. Their masters have left. The bunion trees stand humble in the country carrying clay parts, hanging from their neck like the bhishtis offering water to the thirsty souls wandering in the state of Bardo. Shiva rooms with his third eye open. 
in villages and towns and charnel grounds emitting fire from the center of his brows, lighting fires of the abandoned or river beds, drinking toxins flowing in the water to purify the rivers. Covered in ashes amidst the embers flying, he contains the spread. He does not excel. He is blue, turning darker blue. The Himalayas melt in grief. The Ganges widens her shores. There are more fires on the ground tonight than stars lit in the sky. The truth sounds like a lie, but it isn't. There aren't enough beds and oxygen in the hospitals. There aren't enough vaccines and medical supplies. Who is accountable? Who is accountable? Who is accountable? I beg for help. Help the helpless. Friends who couldn't come forward have promised they will forward my plea to the rich and arise, a slap right in my face. For the first time, I'm angry for not being wealthy enough like Gates to help my country breathe with one fat check. Why do I worry? 33 million gods will take care of everything. Why do I bother? 1.36 billion people will manage their country. Oh, sister, you'll be okay. Oh, mother, try to sleep now. I shall breathe for you with my lungs expanded to the continents. Hope isn't a luxury, it is a necessity. I invite the bell and sit in silence. I write an alphabet on a piece of paper and repeat until it burns the hole in my heart. Oh, for oxygen, oh, for oxygen, oh, for oxygen. Oh, captain, my captain, rise up and hear the bells. Thank you.